Well, hello, all my lovely listeners and all my single and whole gentlemen and gentle ladies. Welcome back to Get Married Whole, your trusted companion on the journey to love, unity, and personal growth. I'm your host, Rakia, and today we're diving into another episode of A Wife's Sacred Influence Toolbox. In every episode, we explore everyday relationship magic because we believe that Small, consistent efforts in nurturing your relationship can lead to transformative results. Today, we'll focus on an important aspect of your husband's life, his attitude. Let us pray. His attitude. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you with love and a deep understanding of the significance of one's attitude. I lift my husband's attitude into your loving hands. Father, I ask for your guidance, wisdom, and grace to help him develop a positive and loving attitude in all aspects of his life. As we're reminded in Philippians 2 and 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Lord, feel say your husband's name, with your love and peace today. May there be calmness, serenity, and a sense of well-being established in him because his life is god control rather than flesh control. Enable him to walk in the house with a clean and perfect heart before you. According to your words, Psalms 101 and 2, shine the light of your spirit upon him and fill him with your love. I pray that he will be kind and patient, not selfish or easily provoked. Enable him to bear all things, believe all things, hope all things, and endure all things. According to your word, 1 Corinthians 13 and 7. And Father, remind him of Philippians 4 and 6 through 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And Lord, I pray that my husband will have a heart of thanksgiving. May he not be broken in spirit because of sorrow, according to your words, Proverbs 15 and 13, but enjoy the continual feast of a merry heart, according to your word in Proverbs 15, 15. Help him to be anxious for nothing, but give thanks in all things so he can know the peace that passes all understanding. May he come to the point of saying, I have learned in whatever state I am to be content According to your words, Philippians 4 and 11, I say to, say your husband's name, this day, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his con- His countenance upon you and give you peace. According to his word in Numbers 6 and 4, according to his promise, Numbers 6 and and 24 through 26. And Lord, I thank you first. I thank you for your promise in Psalms 104. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. And Lord, I pray for moments of positivity, gratitude, and a loving perspective in his life. May your divine guidance lead him to cultivate a positive attitude that enhances our relationship in your loving name. I pray. Amen. And now for practical tips for nurturing his attitude. Prioritize open and affirming communication about attitudes and outlooks as Proverbs 15 and 1 advises a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Be a source of encouragement and positivity, uplifting his spirit in challenging times. In alignment with Proverbs 12 and 25, anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. Encourage personal reflection and gratitude, emphasizing the importance of thankfulness. Following Colossians 3 and 15, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body, you were called to peace and be thankful. Embrace a shared commitment to a loving and positive atmosphere in your relationship. Living out 1 Thessalonians 5.11, therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, 
just as in fact you are doing. Celebrate moments of positivity and a loving attitude, reaffirming your mutual commitment to nurturing a loving atmosphere in your relationship. And I want to empower you with a bonus for daily practical tips for praying for a God-honoring attitude in your home. Because remember, we're not trying to change our husband. We are being a sacred influence. And remember, the biggest change we can always make is ourselves. So let's explore practical tips for how to understand your power and identity in God and how to pray for a God-honoring attitude in your home. Morning prayer. Begin each day with a prayer to seek God's guidance and strength in fostering a positive attitude in your home. Ask for wisdom to lead with love and grace. Gratitude journal. Maintain a gratitude journal to reflect on the blessings in your family life. Thank God for your spouse, children, and opportunities to make a difference within your home. Daily scripture reading. Dedicate time to reading and meditating on relevant Bible verses that encourage love, patience, and kindness within the family. Specific prayer points. Focus on specific areas of improvement within your family dynamics. Pray for patience, understanding, and empathy in dealing with challenges. I'm going to repeat that. Pray for patience, understanding, and empathy in dealing with challenges. Prayer for unity. Make it a habit to pray for unity and harmony among family members. Ask God to mend any broken relationships and to strengthen the bonds in your home. Empowerment prayer. Pray for empowerment to fulfill your God-given role in the home. Ask for the confidence and wisdom to lead with love and humility. Encouragement. Pray for the words and actions that encourage and uplift your family members. Seek guidance on how to be a source of inspiration in their lives. And self-reflection. Take time to self-reflect in your prayers. Ask God to reveal any areas where You can improve your own attitude and behaviors within your family. And for your affirmation to speak over your life. We cultivate a positive and loving attitude, enriching our relationship with everyday relationship magic. As we conclude this episode of A Wife's Sacred Influence Toolbox, remember that your sacred influence can positively impact your husband's attitude and the atmosphere in your relationship. Through everyday relationship magic, you can cultivate a loving and positive attitude together. Whether you're single, in a relationship, or already married, always remember that your sacred influence matters. We're dedicated to guiding you to embrace the transformative power of nurturing a positive attitude in your relationship and in your home. In our upcoming episodes, we'll continue exploring various aspects of your husband's life, including his priorities, his fatherhood, his work, and many more. Stay tuned for a wide range of topics that aim to enhance your relationship. If you found this episode inspiring, please consider leaving a five-star review and sharing your insight. Your feedback helps us reach more listeners and build stronger communities. Stay connected with Get Married Whole on social media. Find us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and explore visual content on our YouTube channel by searching for at Get Married Whole. You're going to use that little at sign get married home if you have questions or topics you'd like us to explore or if you're interested in our coaching program to enhance your journey don't hesitate to reach out for inquiries collaborations and supporting our growth of our podcast visit our website at www.getmarriedwhole.wordpress.com we're here to support you on your path to love unity, and personal growth. 
Stay tuned for more episodes filled with the transformative influence of a praying wife and a wife's sacred influence toolbox. Until next time, remember your sacred influence can cultivate a loving, positive attitude in your relationship, enriching with everyday relationship magic. Stay blessed, stay committed, stay whole, and remember you are special, unique, and wonderfully made. And above all, you are the apple of God's eye. He's got you on his mind. There is great love for you here. We are complete.